Almost any nutritional deficiency can affect the growth of nails in some way. Scientists can tell if someone has high levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, in their body, or even diabetes, by reading fingernails. Brittle nails can even be a sign of hypothyroidism, and 50% of people suffering with psoriasis have nail issues connected with skin inflammation. Nails will absorb whatever is put on them, so using a toxic nail polish can cause the top layer of the nail to dry out, welcoming bacteria, yeast and mould underneath fingernails. Manicures, nail polish remover or too much nail polish can also lead to brittle nails. To protect nails, use a homemade hand sanitizer instead of alcohol based hand sanitizers as they can dry out the hands as does chlorine from swimming pools. Frequent hand washing helps prevent the spread of germs but it also dries out the hands too, so be sure to use a moisturiser after washing your hands. Using gloves when doing the dishes or cleaning can help prevent nails getting soft and tearing. Using a glass nail file instead of an emery board is better as it's gentler on nails. The best time to cut nails is after showering when they're softer and less likely to break. Avoiding artificial nails to allow the nail bed to receive necessary airflow is really important and avoiding wearing nail polish for extended periods of time will allow the nail to breathe. Using a nail polish remover without acetone is really important as well and using a non-toxic nail polish to avoid the most harmful chemicals can help protect nails. One of the most common causes of yellow nails is from fungal infections. Essential oils like orange, patchouli, geranium and peppermint essential oil have been found to work well in fighting bacteria and fungi. Lavender and tea tree both contain strong antibacterial and antifungal properties. However, if nails become worse, consult with your health practitioner. Protein is a necessary nutrient for nails as they're primarily made up of keratin, but some other essential nutrients needed by nails include zinc. The white marks on nails can either be a sign that you knocked them a few weeks back or that you may have a zinc deficiency. Iron, collagen, biotin as well as other B vitamins, silica, vitamin C, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, calcium particularly when paired with vitamin K2 and vitamin A are other necessary nutrients for nails. To make this nail cuticle cream to help promote stronger healthier nails you want to start by filling a saucepan halfway with water. Bring the water to a boil, then perch a heatproof glass bowl on top of the saucepan to make a double boiler. In the bowl, combine half a teaspoon of almond oil or coconut oil, a quarter of a teaspoon of jojoba oil, one and a half tablespoons of shea butter, and one tablespoon of beeswax together and stir occasionally until the wax has completely melted. Remove the bowl from heat and add in five drops of vitamin E oil, 8 drops of lavender essential oil, 5 drops of lemon essential oil, 2 drops of myrrh essential oil, and 3 drops of tea tree essential oil, and stir to combine. Immediately transfer the mixture to a small container or glass jar and let it cool at room temperature until firm. To use this nail cream, massage a pea sized amount of the cuticle cream into the nails, cuticles, and skin surrounding the nail. It can be applied over polish or onto bare nails. A little of the cream goes a long way, which is why you only need a pea-sized drop to cover both hands. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make this natural nail cuticle cream. Let me know if you tried this recipe out yourself and what you think of it, I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.